guys so I am doing my January favourites for you today and I'm probably going to be a bit late with this compared to a lot of other people but I'm sorry my schedule just hasn't been very good and I haven't planned my sort of videos out very well but hopefully that's okay and you're still interested in what I've liked this month. Now I've got a bit of a mixed bag here, kind of a lot of random bits but quite a few kind of cheapo things so let me just get cracking with the things that I've liked. I might start off with these two bits because they are a little bit random. I love a good bath and you know everybody likes a shower. I love lush things at the moment but also really love soap and glory things but it is nice to have an alternative and especially one that doesn't break the purse so much and I have really been liking this shower gel by Nivea and it is their Power Fruit Relax shower gel and it is in this purple bottle and my mum actually bought this um, but it smells really lovely and I think it's a blueberry but it smells so lovely and I can't get over how good it smells and this is probably only one pound something so a lot better on your bank balance than a soap and glory shower gel so I've been liking mixing this up in my routine and yeah I really really like it now something else that I have been really liking is the Radox Relax Bath Soak and it has lavender and water lily in it and as I've just said I really like baths at the moment and I am a bit of a sucker for a lush product but they are quite expensive if you're going to have quite a few baths and again my mum actually bought this and added it to our collection and I am really liking it it smells really nice and it really bubbles up in the bath and I don't actually know the price of this um, which isn't very helpful is it? I might just check what I will do, I will pop in the description box below how much this is because my internet is being so slow I can't even see how much it is for you but I'm sure it can't be very much and this is going to last a really long time because I probably had like three or two baths out of that much so I think it's going to be worth the money. I have just managed to load Superdrug and this bottle is one ninety nine. I thought it would be about £4 so one ninety nine no more nothing more to say really is there I will show you this item next I actually got this for Christmas and it is amazing for people that are as lazy as me and it is the Vaseline spray and go body moisturizer and I actually got this in the cocoa butter smell and this is so good like I said for lazy people um, I am really bad at moisturizing I don't have time for it to be honest and this is a godsend, you literally spray it on, I won't just show you, so it's just a spray like that, sprayed on me and then I just rub it in. And that is so much quicker in my opinion than, you know, lathering it all on and taking absolutely forever. Yeah, this is probably about £4, um, so you're probably paying more than like a normal Vaseline sort of moisturiser but I think it's well worth it and I would definitely repurchase this and I think it's going to last me quite a while as well and it smells really good too and they do a couple of other scents so as I said this is brilliant if you really need something quick and easy and that you just can't be bothered with a routine like me. Another item that I got for Christmas actually was the Dove Hair Therapy Dry Shampoo Refresh and Care. I've actually done a little blog post on this so if you want a more in-depth review then I'll put it in the box below and you can go and check that out. But this smells really really good and it's just a normal dry shampoo but I just quite like this. I find that the Batiste ones aren't that great and these are quite cheap as well and if you can get them in like an offer when Dove does a lot of offers then it's a really reasonable price and I really like the packaging as well I, I mean it does look a bit like deodorant but I think it's just quite simple and it doesn't look as kind of tacky as the Batiste one so yeah I really like that and it's brilliant for fringe people like me that get a bit of a grease issue uh, so yeah this is really really good I don't want to keep saying it but this is actually another item I got for Christmas this is always going to happen probably in the January favourites and it's the Origins Jingzing Energy Boosting Moisturiser and I didn't want to pay for this myself because I'm a bit of a stingy poo and stingy poo but yeah I have been loving this it smells of orange if you don't already know and it just reminds me of chocolate oranges so it's really really nice I was about to say tasty but it's not tasty it's really really nice and obviously the packaging is really really nice and simple very origins and yeah I just love it a lot a lot a lot and I haven't kind of 
treated myself to a moisturiser really, I've kind of only bought cheap ones and this is just glorious. It just goes onto your skin really nicely, it sinks in really nicely and it doesn't make your like skin feel tacky or sticky after, it's just lovely, lovely, lovely. Now it is a little bit more pricey, it is obviously £20 or is it £18? £23 I think, but I think it's actually worth it because really you don't need that much and this is going to last me a really really long time and I'm all for paper wear and all of that so I really really like this a lot. I actually had saved up all of my boots points and luckily I got 999 which meant I could treat myself to a Real Techniques brush and I decided to go for the Expert Face Brush I already have this and it is my favourite 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 for liquid foundation this and Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation go together like a dream and I just love this brush so much that I thought I would invest in another one so that I could have sort of two on rotation and that I would always have a clean brush so considering I managed to get this with my boots points I'm really happy with that yeah I think it's worth paying for it anyway obviously I bought the last one myself but when I started using this again it felt so lovely because it was brand new and it was all like squishy 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 and soft and lovely so I really would recommend this and I always say that this is much better than the buffing brush just gonna say that Another favourite of mine this January, after Christmas, is the Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir Cologne. Cologne? Cologne. And this is lovely, lovely. And um, it's a really, really musky scent. And I'm quite surprised I like it, actually. It's really quite spicy and woody. But I really like it. And I think it's one of those things that smells a lot better on your skin. And I just feel quite grown up wearing it as well. Because a lot of my other perfumes have been quite sort of cheap and really sweet and I just feel a bit more like a grown woman and I think it was about time that I got a nice perfume so I like this and I think it's a really nice gift to receive as well because it comes in such a nice little box and I really love the bottle I think it's just really really simple and really pretty so I like that now I mentioned this in my 2013 favourites and because I mentioned it, it kind of put in my head that I did like it and I hadn't actually used it in a while and it's the Stila in the light palette and I love this little beauty so much as you can see I'm all nearly out of my favourite colours and I'm actually wearing probably not you can really tell but I'm wearing Kitten which is my all time favourite eyeshadow I think and also this brown on the end here and I always like to use the black so I love this and I think it's about £25 if I remember so I think it's sort of really worth the money and I just love it the packaging I don't love um, it's gone all disgusting it's peeling it's cardboard so it's a bit naff but I love the colours in it and I think the pigmentation is amazing it goes on like a dream and it stays on really well so I like this a lot as you know but I've really been using it throughout January because I've kind of forgotten about it to be honest and the last product is actually something I'm wearing which is on my lips and I have loved this ever since I got it which probably actually wasn't that long ago uh, probably like two three weeks ago but I guess it's still been in January hasn't it and it is the new Revlon Colour Burst Matte Balm in Unapologetic and I think it is gorgeous these Revlon lip balms as you might know if you know my channel quite well I adore the Lovesick one which is the sort of original sort of lip stain and this is their new range and they've got matte and they've also got the lacquer ones I'm more of a matte girl than kind of a glossy girl so I thought I would try one of their matte ones out and this shade just kind of drew me, I like a pink, I like a sort of reddy coral colour and I thought it was right in there in between and again the staining powder is really good, probably not quite as stainy as the last lot that I have but I do really like it and it goes on really lovely considering it's a matte shade so it doesn't stick I don't think and it doesn't dry your lips out so I love it and I kind of already really want another one but I won't just go and get another one straight away I will think about what choice and what colour I want first I just wanted to quickly add a non-beauty favourite which is this book by Mahari I'm not quite sure McFarlane 
and it is this book called Here's Looking at You and I haven't actually quite finished it yet but I have really really loved this book. I actually just grabbed it from Tesco for about £3 and it is like a soppy chick flick but I love a good chick flick. But it's also really funny and it's got a lot of kind of updated references and I think one of the quotes was you can't live your life through Instagram or something like that. I would really recommend this if you fancy a kind of easy read. Okay so I think I am done there with my monthly favourites. And I know it was a bit of a random lot, but I hope you still enjoyed it anyway. And I'm planning on doing a couple of videos, which one will be all drugstore makeup tutorial slash makeup, and the other one will be all high-end makeup. But if you like that idea, then please like the video and let me know in the description box if you would like to see makeup videos of drugstore and then a high-end. They'd be like separate videos. And I will see you again soon. Bye!